Are you recently married and maybe you feel like your spouse is too close to their family? Or maybe you've been married for a long time, but more and more you see your spouse spending time with their parents, talking to their parents, and you're starting to feel left out or you're starting to notice there's more contention around what you feel and what your partner's parents feel. If you're one of these people, then I wanna to talk to you about what happens when a parent becomes too involved in their grown children's marriage. And if this is happening to you, how you can kind of work through it together. Now, there's many ways that parents intrude in marriages, and some of those may look like they're always around, they're calling all the time, or your spouse is calling them all the time. You can't go out without including them, or if you go a weekend, there's always an opportunity that you're gonna both run over and visit the parents. It just feels like basically the parents are part of your marriage. And you may say, well, why, why did this happen? Or how does this happen? It usually happens quite subtly. And it happens because the two partners did not really make strong boundaries. I mean, they assumed a lot of things, but they didn't really consider, hmm, what are we going to do? Like, how are we going to safeguard the two of us? How are we going to protect and keep sacred what happens or what we say to each other so that it doesn't go to our parents? And if that's not established, then many times the parents will start stepping in. Because let's face it, it's hard to let go of your kids, even when your kids are grown. It's nice to feel included in, especially if they have a child and you find that you're taking care of that child a lot during the day. It's more more and more natural that you think of mom and dad or mom as being part of your family and think of them as part of your family is okay until they become part of your marriage because that's where they shouldn't be. So let's talk about what happens when the parent becomes part of your relationship. Well, the first thing, both you and your partner are being cheated because instead of being married to each other, there's a third person. So you've created a triangle. If it's a husband who's too close to his parents, then the wife is gonna feel like she's married to his mother or his dad. And she's gonna feel like she needs approval before she can continue with her life. If it's the other way around, if mom, if the wife is too close to mom, or dad, then what ends up happening is the husband feels left out. He feels angry. He feels like the two of them are oftentimes colluding against him. Neither of those things is good. Next, fights and disagreements happen more because let's face it, it's if the two of you are agreeing on something, that's much easier than if you have a third influencer, a powerful one, and that's a parent. And this is why you'll notice more disagreements, more fighting. And it feels like many times that parent takes the side of one of the spouses, their child. And so what happens is the other partner is left out or starts feeling isolated and alone. Um, when you get married, your spouse is supposed to be your new family. They're the ones that you're creating a life together. And if you bring your parents along, that is not part of the package. And that is not part of the boundary between the two of you. It, damage comes when problems are skewed or when situations, whenever anything gets skewed by what the parent's input is, it's going to be damaging to your marriage. So it, maybe you have a trouble with one of the children and the parents are saying this, but you and your, you believe this and you're trying to talk to your spouse about this, but your spouse isn't at all interested in what you think about your child, they're more interested in what their parents are saying about your, your the two of your child. And that's a direct sign that things are not balanced and you need to get that back. So how to fix it? Well, the first thing you need to understand is it's a very, it's a tough topic to talk about. But when you begin, you have to tell your partner, listen, this is really important to me. I'm bringing it up because it's important to our relationship and I want our relationship to work, but this is a big problem. Secondly, you start talking about your boundaries. I feel like we let our guard down. I feel like our, your, your parents are part of you and I now and it doesn't feel comfortable to me. It feels like our intimacy is being sapped 
by the parents. I no longer feel like the priority. It's I'm a priority and your parents are priority. And that I just can't put up with that. When you start talking about your boundaries and realigning the boundaries, now you're going to have a real marriage going forward. You're going to sit down and you're going to talk about what's okay to say to parents and what's okay not. When are times that we visit them? When do we not? We can't just come home and ex give them a key and expect that they're going to come into our home unannounced and not warn us. Or you need that. You need that privacy with your partner. And I think lastly, it might be really interesting and helpful to talk to a therapist. And the reason I say that is because some of these topics are so tough, are so taboo to bring up, that you need the help of a third party who's objective, who's going to help align the couple so that they're gonna to work to save the relationship. And in that, they're gonna give you both kind ways and firm boundaries, ways that you can talk to the parents. And sometimes, in my own case, as a therapist, I've had the parent come in and we've talked and they they were unaware of how intrusive their behavior had become and how it was undermining the couples from having a close relationship. So if you feel like this is happening to you or someone you love, please share it. Do the right thing. Share because you care.